Hey everyone, Kyle Walker here. If you love cars, fixing things, or just want to understand your vehicle better, you're in the right place. I share hands-on tips, smart driving advice, and straight-up car talk without the fluff. Make sure to hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, and stick around till the end. You don't want to miss what's coming up. Let's get Thanks into to it. numerous tests and innovations, developers began to use maintenance-free batteries instead of the outdated lead battery, which are widely spread among new models. This type of battery makes it possible to use the car for a considerable period of time as the service life of a maintenance-free. Car battery is three to five years, depending on the manufacturer, without causing any problems or requiring attention. Just imagine, this design will free you from measuring the density of electrolyte and adding distilled water, and these actions should be done regularly. Let us remind you of the peculiarities of maintenance of conventional batteries. When checking the electrolyte, a person can be injured. Because there is a spark nearby, when adding water, acid can get on your hands, resulting in chemical burns. Therefore, by choosing a maintenance-free model, you are taking care of yourself. This battery has no access to its contents. But any car owner will come to the moment when he will have to ask what to do when the battery expires, because it is very important. Not to let the battery charge too low. Today we will talk about what to do and how to maintain this type of battery. What are the differences of maintenance-free batteries? From the very beginning, let's define this design to understand what maintenance-free battery means. A maintenance-free battery is a battery that does not have a direct path to the banks and plates. Often the battery is either a calcium battery or a hybrid battery. Now we can safely list its differences from its predecessors. Impermeable casing. Consequently, it is impossible to open it, and you can only charge it. Holds a charge for a long time. The design uses an alloy of lead and calcium for the electrode arrays. There is no evaporation of water, as it ends up in the tank after passing through the valves. The electrolyte in this type of model is not in a liquid state. Its consistency is like a gel. No matter what the manufacturers say, you have to control the voltage level. It must remain above 12 and a half volts for stable operation. Hybrid grids will reduce your visit to the battery to one check in 1.5 years, but a calcium battery will require attention every six months. Generally speaking, there's another kind of battery, the low maintenance battery. They are an order of magnitude lower in cost than the analog we are considering, but you will have to check the level of charge more often. What kind of battery is better, maintained, or low maintenance? To be honest, a maintenance-free battery is a lot more hassle and time-consuming for the owner. Favoring a maintenance-free model will definitely benefit you, especially if it is your first car and you are not skilled in battery maintenance. Let you overpay, but when buying remember that you are giving the difference in price for your time and long service of the installation. Note, the main thing is to initially choose a good manufacturer as there are many fakes to be found in the market today. How to charge a maintenance-free battery. Because the battery does not get enough charge from the alternator, the driver needs to occasionally top up the battery with a battery charger. The need for replenishment increases with the onset of cold weather. This is due to the fact that it is more difficult for the starter to crank the crankshaft, the lubricant in the engine freezes, and becomes thick, and the fuel evaporates significantly worse. Accordingly, for a good engine start in winter, the amount of charge must be raised to the upper point of the battery capacity. To check the charge level you will need certain equipment, a multimeter. If the indicator is from 11.7 to 12.7, your battery is charged. It is impossible to know the exact value, unfortunately, but the battery itself is not fully charged. Read also, how you should pass the lying policeman on the car there are a couple of peculiarities in the charging process because of the following criteria. Measuring the density of the electrolyte cannot be done using an areometer. Charging with high currents is also impossible due to the external sealed coating. Now let's move directly to how to charge a maintenance-free battery. To prevent the battery from falling, choose a flat surface on which it can be placed. Measure the voltage remaining in the battery to set the correct amperage on the charger. Apply 14-14.5V to the terminals of a discharged or partially discharged battery, no more than 2 amps at startup. You will realize when the process is over by the charge current mark, it should be at 0.2A. If you set the current to 15A or higher, it may cause the voltage at the terminals to increase and you will be forced to buy a new battery. 
The owner must constantly monitor the flow of charging, because if the electrolyte boils, it will not find its way out of confinement. Because the design is covered with a shell, which will lead to an explosion, from which you and your property can suffer. Therefore, as soon as you hear extraneous sounds inside the battery, immediately disconnect the charger. Because of these conditions, you should not take the risk of charging directly on the car. When the charge reaches the desired upper point, do not forget to measure the voltage on the battery terminals. How to check the electrolyte level. There are two ways to check the electrolyte level in a maintenance-free battery, by the marks on the design and by the indicators. Let's look at each one separately. The abbreviations MAX and MIN tell you the charge level. They are written in the window provided for this purpose. The indicator in the middle of the window tells the owner that the battery is fully charged. Sometimes there is no window for this purpose, but the manufacturer leaves a transparent part of the case for determination, which is usually made of plastic. Indicators. Some developers chose such an option, which also perfectly visually informs the driver of the electrolyte level. So how do they do it? The answer lies in the color that the indicator produces directly. The variability of colors is limited to green, white, and red. The first color indicates that everything is fine with the battery and there is nothing to worry about. The second color indicates that it is time to charge the battery. And the third color indicates the critical state of the battery. It is displayed when the acidity is high and the water level has dropped. Of course, not all models use exactly these colors, so study the manual beforehand. As we have already informed you, there is no reliable source, so all indicators are approximate, and it is better to pay attention to the indicators more often. At times, battery failure depends on the fact that the distilled water level in the battery has dropped. A maintenance-free battery, as the name implies, does not provide an opening for external intervention by the owner to correct this failure. But there is one way. So, how to pour distilled water into a maintenance-free battery? First of all, never remove the battery cover. It is so fixed that you will most likely not be able to put it back on. So just peel off the sticker. Secondly, through the transparent areas we find the jars and partitions. With the help of this picture, we determine the places for pouring water or checking the density of electrolyte. Carefully make a passage using a tool like an awl. Now through the passage in the jar, where there is a density indicator, pour water 5 milliliters at a time. To make it convenient for you, buy a disposable syringe for this operation. When the indicator turns white or green, add another 20 milliliters. The electrolyte level is easier to determine if you have a transparent battery case. Otherwise, use this method. Plunge the syringe with the needle into the jar and pull the stem. When the electrolyte begins to flow into the syringe, make a mark on the needle. You will then need to check this mark as you add water to the remaining jars. The holes you have made can be sealed with sealant, or you can cut rubber plugs out of rubber. Shake the battery a bit to mix the newly distilled water. Read also, what is included in the car first aid kit? Down with drugs how to calculate the charge time. This, of course, depends directly on how much you have had time to plant the maintenance-free battery. If the charge has fallen to the very bottom, then the recovery process can take from 24 to 30 hours. It is very important not to allow such a situation. And so on average, such analogs are charged from 3 to 4 hours. What happens if you overcharge? Overcharging the battery can lead to terrible consequences. Boiling of the electrolyte will lead to the corrosion of all internal parts. The acid spreading over the terminals will oxidize them and a green-colored deposit will form on them. If the electrolyte starts to come out of the battery, the plates will show on the surface of the case and then fall off. After such upgrades, you will take the battery to the landfill. There is also a percentage of the battery itself exploding because of the electrolyte. Carefully charge the products according to the instructions above. Using automatic chargers. You'll see a lot of automatic charger options, but frankly, they're not always of the highest quality so it's best to look for chargers where you have control over all the parameters. And don't forget about how to properly charge a maintenance-free battery, as we mentioned above. Is it possible to charge at home? Only by following all the tips and instructions that we have mentioned, you can carry out this operation at home. In any case, it is better to find a more suitable place for this. But when the circle of options is reduced to your dwelling, do not despair. So to the question, and whether you can charge a maintenance-free battery at home, we answer in the affirmative. In conclusion, 
We can't say anything about the bad sides of this type of battery, as it outperforms its rivals in many ways and is in line with new trends. Quietly buy cars with such batteries and save your time with them. Leave your comments and suggestions below. We would love to hear your opinions and preferences. Enjoy your trips and be careful on the roads. In conclusion, properly charging maintenance-free car batteries is essential for ensuring their longevity and optimal performance. Always start by using a compatible charger and follow the manufacturer's guidelines for voltage and charging time. Remember to monitor the process and avoid overcharging, as this can lead to damage. By taking these steps, you can maintain your battery's health and reliability, ensuring your vehicle is always ready to go. Thank you for watching and drive safely.